why Tesla's autopilot can't see a stopped fire truck? On Monday, a Tesla Model S slammed into the back of a stopped fire truck on the 405 freeway in Los Angeles County. The driver apparently told the fire department the car was in autopilot mode at the time. This surprisingly non-deadly debacle also raises a technical question. How is it possible that one of the most advanced driving systems on the planet doesn't see a freaking fire truck dead ahead? Tesla didn't confirm the car was running autopilot at the time of the crash, but its manual does warn that the system is ill-equipped to handle this exact sort of situation. Traffic-aware cruise control cannot detect all objects and may not brake decelerate for stationary vehicles, especially in situations when you are driving over 80 km per hour and a vehicle you are following moves out of your driving path and a stationary vehicle or object is in front of you instead. Volvo's semi-autonomous system pilot assist has the same shortcoming. Say, the car in the front of the Volvo changes lanes or turns off the road, leaving nothing between the Volvo and a stopped car. Pilot assist will ignore the stationary vehicle and instead accelerate to the stored speed. Volvo's manual reads, meaning the cruise speed the driver punched. The driver must then intervene and apply the brakes. In other words, your Volvo won't brake to avoid hitting a stopped car that suddenly appears up ahead. It might even accelerate towards it. The same is true for any car currently equipped with adaptive cruise control or automated emergency braking. It sounds like a glaring flaw, the kind of horrible mistake engineers race to eliminate. No, these systems are designed to ignore static obstacles because otherwise they couldn't work at all. Hey guys, that was the video for today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and do not forget to share this video. Created using Powtoon.